The one thing everyone wished they had growing up was a Game Boy. The other thing was a Game Boy that had a built-in light. This one has been modded to have a backlight. This one has been modded to have a front light. Now today, I'll be doing a backlight mod on this Game Boy Advance. We'll be putting a Game Boy Advance SP screen, the AGS-101 model, which is backlit. Now I believe a company is now making these again. Before there used to be a whole bunch of these available. Then they stopped making them. Then after they stopped making them, the price went way up. So I got this, this kit for around $40. Comes with a protective film. I see that. And the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure which model Game Boy Advance you have. You can tell by the serial number in here if it can. I'll probably put up a diagram. But there's two different models. There's a 32 pin model and a 40 pin model. This one here is a 32 pin model. And I'll be going through the steps, you know, to put this in here. In my opinion, this is not a tutorial. It's just me doing this because this is the first time I've ever done it. Now I'm not going to teach someone something I've never done before. There, I got the Game Boy Advance all unscrewed. You'll need this special screw, it's called a tri-wing screw, along with a Phillips. You can get those online pretty cheap, but let's pull this off. Careful not to dump any screws. Here is the back part of the Game Boy. And now there's some more screws I need to unscrew. These are Phillips heads. Okay, those screws are officially taken out. So now what we can do is I'm going to set this down right here. And we can lift up on the board. Just like that. We can take out the buttons. There we go. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to pry out that screen right there. All you do is you just jam a screwdriver in a little part like right by the D-pad. You can just pry it up with your fingernails. This is why I decided to keep long fingernails for this project. It's going to be kind of a pain to get it out. You don't want to scratch the screen because you never know when you might need it again. Just pry her up. I think I might have gotten the screen a little bit. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I didn't. So now you have this case. What you can go ahead and do right now is you can lift up on these tabs right there. And just slide the screen out. Now I no longer need that screen. Now in order to get this Game Boy Advance SP AGS 101 screen, to fit in this Game Boy Advance. You're going to do some mods to it to make sure it fits. We try to line it up. As you see, we're going to have to get you're going to have to remove this bottom part right here. And I think that's that's about it, just that bottom part. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Also, from what I heard, you want to take off this rubber thing. This rubber thing has to go. And what I am going to do is I'm going to take out this screen, this lens right here, because the kit that I bought comes with this brand new glass one. That way it's a little bit more scratch resistant and it will last a lot longer. There, I got this part all cut out. I actually use a soldering iron for this. And if you're using soldering iron, be very careful. You can easily burn yourself. And you don't want your soldering iron too hot because you don't want to go through this part, the plastic on the front. So let's test fit our Game Boy screen. See if she fits. And if she fits like that, then she ships. You want to take your 32 pin ribbon adapter from Game Boy Advance SP to Game Boy Advance. This will come with the kit. This kit will be in the description below. So if you guys do want to do this, go for it. 
So it took a little bit of finding out what I had to do, but I finally figured it out. You see this little black part right here? This is why long fingernails comes in handy when you're doing modding. You just flip it back open, just like that. Now we can finally place this in here and close that. This wire right here has to be soldered on there onto the board of the system. And I'm pretty sure it's somewhere around here. I'd have to look it up for sure just to be safe. Now what we can start doing is putting the buttons back into the system. Okay, I ran into a little bit of difficulty getting this to fit. It's going to be a little bit snug, but if you get everything all in place and then tighten it down, it'll sit in there pretty good. This is kind of in the way, but I think once we put the case down, it'll probably squish down. I got this ribbon right here, just feeding right in here. You just install it pretty much the same way you disconnected it. Now it's time to solder this wire. You need to look for this right here. It is the R1, that little guy right there. And you're going to tab, or you're going to solder it right to that little part right there. It's just under the one, connected to that black thing. You'll see once I solder it. Now it's kind of a small area to work with. I'm going to see if I got it. And I'm going to do a dry run of this. Back of the Game Boy on. I'm going to pop in some batteries. Batteries alone should hold on the screen. And for the moment of truth, we're going to turn it on this way. Oh, there it is. There it is. The screen works. Oh, backlit. Okay, so that works. Now I'm going to go ahead, turn this off, and reassemble it, and I'll be right back. So everything's all put back together. I got the screen cleaned, turns on, still works. Let me turn that off. The only thing I have to do left is put this glass screen protector on. It's pretty easy. You just, boom. You just lay that right on there. Really adhesive. Boom. Just press fit into... Look at that. Brand new backlit Game Boy. Now that we got all my fancy lights off and the camera doesn't want to focus in this dark, we're going to put in... Actually, I'm going to turn it on for this quick second. Pokemon Green. Two things everyone wished they had growing up. Game Boy with a light, Pokemon Green. See how she looks, boys. Boop. Turn her on. Yes. 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 That is awesome. All the buttons are responsive. That is awesome. I am so happy right now. Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo 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 -doo. So thank you guys very much for watching this video. I, I really appreciate it. Please drop a like if you like it. And who knows, there might be a giveaway for, the, for this Game Boy. Not this exact Game Boy, but a Game Boy like this for 10,000 subscribers.